morning friends i am with a new video on vbot tutorials today we are going to integrate imu to get angles of our robot in vbot so this is our custom robot if you want to learn how to make custom robots do watch our tutorial on custom robot in last video we integrated the gps sensor so this small cylinder is our gps and it is uh, from the last video if you have not seen do watch we get the coordinates of x y and z so now we will start integrating an imu so we go in robots we go in children then we add an inertial unit so which will give us roll pitch yaw so now when we have added initial inertial unit let's name it it as imu and in children we add shape and let's make so this is pbr appearance and let's make the shape to be box this time so we see a big box here let's oops so we we'll see the translation of the box so let's take the box out and scale it so when i go in shape geometric box let's have it small size 0 2 0.02 0.02 so we have a small box where in appearance let's give it some funky color 0.5 0.2 okay and 0 oh it's a purple color let's give it a blue color 0.7 and 0 and let's remove its uh, metallic property so metal ness should be 0 so we can look at as blue in color and now if you know its translation with respect to robot base frame you can translate it and put the exact values here but let's assume that we are using this imu to have angles of our wheels so will the angles which we get from this imu will be uh, the turning angles of our the turning of robot face on our wheel axis so now we are done with the modeling so we go in controller first of all as we included gps last time we will control c control v we will have it as an inertial unit and similarly as last time we will make initial inertial unit pointer i u then i u will be equal to robot and get inertial unit as in above case we had gps unit and this time we named our sensor as imu so it recognizes our sensor from vbot and we enable this time so similar approach that here will be iu and let's paste the same so we'll have angle x 
angle about x angle about y angle about z and this will be inertial unit and here we have a variable named get roll picture Okay, let's hope everything builds fine. Yeah, it's building fine. So again, we'll save this first so that our IMU doesn't go and we'll build and reset. So now, if we on our timing and if we do move our robot, as you see, X and Y angles are zero because uh, we are not having rotation about x and y, but as you see, your angle z is changing. So it's going negative, and as we know here, it's zero, and now it will go to positive. So in this way, we can have real time values of x, y, z, and all three angles. So if you want to implement goal reaching algorithm you will need to have these angles and coordinates to ensure that you have reached the goal this was all about vbots and integrating imu if you like this video do thumbs up and subscribe to the channel soon we'll be uh, doing much advanced stuff in vbots so stay tuned thank you